Welcome to Mentors for IAS. I'm Dr. Arjun Bopanna. In my previous video, I had uh, talked about the four reasons why you end up getting low scores in your UPSC mains answers. So I will address the first reason that is relevance. Okay, so when you write an answer, you feel that you would have done well, but at the end, you might get less score. The reason could be because you might not have addressed the demand of the question. That means your answers might not have been relevant. Okay, so the relevance of your answer depends on two factors. One, obviously, it's the content. Okay, the content that you have, uh, the content that you're going to write is going to determine how relevant your answer is. Okay, and the second and the most important thing and what most students forget is the keywords that is mentioned in the particular question. Because the keywords determine what content and how you have to, uh, you know, uh, cut and uh, tailor your contents. Okay, so the same content might have to be written differently. The same content might have to be expressed differently. So the keywords are very important to uh, get good scores. How you are going to present, what you are going to write is dependent on the keywords. So today in this video, I am going to discuss about the various keywords that are asked in UPSC mains from previous years. What all are the keywords and what you need to write? See, it's very simple. It's just basic English language. Okay. So what is being asked and what you are expected to write is what is given in that keyword. See, if you see uh, the previous year questions okay from that we will try and understand what is the keyword see over here over here we have a keyword which is called as explain so the question is asking you geographical factors that has led to the development of ancient india so the keyword here is explain so you are supposed to explain now what is this explain let me explain to you in the uh, uh, you know later similarly in another previous year question the keyword is discuss. Discuss the consequence of climate change. If the question was explain, if the question was list, the way, the content that you have to write will be very different. I hope you are able to understand this. Okay. If this keyword was explain, if it was list, if it was comment, okay, something like that, your whole answer flow should be different. The way you are going to write your content should be different. The same content on climate change. The question is, discuss the consequence of climate change on food security in tropical country. The question is on climate change and how it is affecting the food security. Now, the question can be discuss. The question can be explained. The ex uh, question can be comment or something like that. Now, the question here is discuss, which is very different from explain, which was asked in this question. Okay, if the question was discuss the role of geographical factor, your answers would be very different. Is that understood? So therefore, keywords are very important. Okay, first try to understand it in your own language, in your own words. Okay, and try to practice them in your answer writings. And you get the hang of it. It's not that difficult. Okay, and as soon as you see the keyword, you see the content, you know how to structure your answer, how your answer should flow, and what you have to write. So let's see some of the very important uh, or commonly asked or commonly given keywords in the UPSC exam. See, I'm not given a detailed, uh, you know, dictionary-based definition, etc. What is easy for us to understand? You can write down this in your notes somewhere and stick it in your table, uh, in front of your table, so that every time you see it, you get an idea. Okay, so these are basically, it's very simple. Like it's a, you can, you know, how to understand, how to remember these things. Let's say you have a friend and you are talking something about, let's say climate change. Let's take the example of climate change and you're talking to him. So now using this topic, climate change, let us understand each keyword. Okay, so the if a question is how climate change is occurring. What are you supposed to write? You have to explain the process of climate change. What are the factors that are causing climate change? Okay, what uh, you know are the uh, reason behind climate change, etc. So how, if the keyword is how climate change, you simply explain the process, the manner, 
climate change is utter. Now, if you add why climate change, you have to reason, give the reason. You have to give the reason for climate change. What are the reasons of climate change? Whether it is, you know, burning of fossil fuel, whether it is transportation. So maybe you can further subclassify it into, you know, but, uh, energy related reasons. Okay, economy related reasons. Historical reasons also could be there. Historical industrialization, etc. From that point of view, also you can write. But you go on listing the reasons or give justification for a particular phenomena. Why is it happening? Very simple, you know, that's what. Then what? The question is what? You simply explain it. You simply describe it. So if your question is why, I mean, sorry, uh, what is climate change? You will define what is a climate change. Okay, you will exp uh, you'll simply explain, describe the process of climate change, etc. So this is what is this first three keywords mean and what you are supposed to write next again other type of keywords is bring out now if the question is same let's take the same topic climate change okay bring out and then there will be an addition bring out the reason why climate change is increasing now bring out the factors that is leading to climate change whatever is the question you will need to again explain the process or manner in which something is happening. Another so, question is bring out. Okay, so along with bring out, if we add another keyword, okay, so bring out the reason for climate change, bring out the factors that is leading to climate change. So bring out the significant feature of something. Okay, bring out features of climate change. If the question is like that, you need to bring out the significant feature the various aspects of climate change, meaning how climate change affects the society, how climate change affects the economy, how climate change affects the biodiversity, etc. So bring out okay, the impact of climate change, bring out the features of climate change, etc. Next keyword is do you think? Okay, so here the question is asking your opinion. Very simple. Do you think climate change? is reducing with the introduction of xyz policy or is it increasing after introducing xyz policy or our e mobility plan is it affecting or reducing climate change bring out your opinion so do you think our policy so here you have to give your opinion but your opinion has to be justified by some argument that you make okay you have to justify it next list out or give out so if a question is asking you to list you simply list the uh, factors or uh, what is being asked you don't have to elaborate it you don't have to explain it you simply list it out provide series of item list out the cause of climate change one two three four you simply list them out so that is list out or give out now let's go to the next set of keywords again the topic the content is on climate change okay the topic is climate change so here describe climate change meaning you give more detail about climate change what is climate change what are the factors causing climate change how does it affect etc so you provide detailed information about a particular topic everything every dimension every aspect every uh, you know, uh, scientific reasons, other reasons, every dimension has to be given. So describe climate change for me. So what is climate change? How, why, everything. Next, explain. Here, you have to clarify something. Okay, explain the impact of climate change. So here, you have to explain how climate change affects environment how climate change affects the economy how climate change affects the society political system etc so you clarify the topic in our case climate change how it works or how it is affecting something like how climate change is going to affect the economy how climate change is going to uh, 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 affect the political system etc next keyword is elaborate elaborate is 
description or explanation but in much more detail elaborate on something elaborate about climate change here you provide more detail you explain a little bit more about a particular topic so as to help the examiner get a comprehensive understanding of that particular topic so the same climate change you saw guys how things change with the keywords the next set of keywords illustrate as the name says, illustrate. Illustrate means to give example. Illustrate means to give a diagrammatic representation or explain it in the form of chart. Illustrate, okay, to give a visual visual representation of something. So if you say again climate change, okay, explain climate change or uh, you know climate change is affecting the economy of a country. Illustrate. That means you explain it with examples. So that is what is required from there. If the uh, question is asking, okay, climate change has led to increase in uh, migration and hence it has affected the social fabric of a society. Illustrate. So then you have to give examples, like in Western, uh, like in uh, African nation, this has happened. You give data to support that. So you have to give examples, or if it is uh, can be expressed in the form of diagrams, etc. That is what is expected from Illustrate. Next, give an account of. Here, it's a detailed explanation. Once again, it's a detailed explanation, like describe. OK, so give an account of a detailed description. or account. So give an account of climate change. So here also, like description, you write every aspect of climate change. You define it. You talk about the cause. You explain the impact, everything. So that is what is expected out of give account of the next topic is do you agree so the question is asking again your opinion but here the statement is asking do you agree so does climate change affect the economic system of the world what is your opinion you give your opinion yes it does no it does not but then you have to justify the reasons so that is very important you can't say it's not one word answer yes i do agree no i don't agree you have to justify it by giving arguments. Next series of keywords. This is very important. This is sometimes very confusing. And this is very often asked in UPSC. So these four questions. So here, it is mainly analysis-based keywords. This requires you to analyze something. When we say analysis-based you know, keywords, you have to write both the sides of the argument. You have to write pro, you have to write cons, you have to write good, bad, okay, all dimensions, okay, supporting it as well as criticizing it. So that is what is expected out of you. So this kind of questions are analysis. So here, the first one is comment. So in comment, you analyze it. Matlab, you give both the sides of argument, but along with that, you also need to give your opinion. So here, what is important is opinion. What is your interpretation about a particular topic? Comment about the impact of you know, uh, industrialization on climate change. Again, let's take climate change. So comment on the impact of industrialization on climate change. So here you have to write how industrialization has led to climate change, how there are other factors along with that has led to climate change. And then you give your opinion that this, these. So opinions are very important over here. Discuss may same. you write both the sides of argument, but your opinion is not very important. You need not write about your opinion. So here you write all sides of argument, pro, con, okay, favor, okay against it etc but you don't have to give your opinion so discuss plus opinion would be comment then analyze analysis may you have to break down a particular topic into parts and each part has to be given uh, an analysis okay from both pro and cons positive negative arguments OK, so that is what is expected out of analysis. Break down the topic and examine each part critically. Now, what is critical analysis or critically, if it is added to any of them, critically would expect you to give a detailed 
uh, explanation about something. You have to write both sides, strengths, weakness, pro, con, for, against, in particular topic. So critically comment, critically discuss, critically analyze. In all of them, detailed description is expected. So whenever critically is added to any of these terms, you have to evaluate that particular topic in very detail. Okay, detailed analysis is required. Okay, and lastly, uh, these keywords talk about uh, comparison or you know two separate topics and how they are different or similar to each other. So when they expect difference from you, the keywords that is used is difference and contrast. So when the word is asked com contrast, when the word is asked difference, you have to bring out the difference between a particular topic, distinction between the two topic. Is that understood? So difference and contrast are the same. You need to bring out the differences. You need to distinguish between two topics. Whereas compare, students forget this. In compare, you have to write both the similarities as well as the difference. You have to write the similarities as well as difference of two or more topics that is asked. Okay, so this is how, you know, difference-based questions is keywords are asked in the exam. So students generally forget to write the similarities when a question ampere is asked. Okay, and then they lose out half of their marks in that particular answer. So this way, as we saw in this particular video, the same topic, climate change, the content remains the same, but what you are going to write in your answer, how you are going to structure your answer, how you are going to flow, how, how you are going, how the answer is supposed to flow will vary depending upon the keywords. Okay. So therefore, the first thing that you have to do before you start writing your answer is to understand the keyword, what is being asked, and then focus on that and tailor the answer according to that keyword. The same content, you might have to reframe that answer depending upon the keywords. I, with my experience, I have seen that this plays a very, very important role in your answers. Okay, it makes a lot of difference. A 20 marks to 30 marks is lost because students don't understand the keywords. So therefore, make sure you go through this video again and again, write down the definition, stick it in some place where you're going to see it every time and inculcate those ideas in your answers start framing your answers according to the keywords i hope this video helps you guys okay if you need any help feel free to contact us don't forget to join our mentorship program where we will help you to understand what mistakes you are doing and let's correct them and ensure that you get good scores thank you for watching guys have a good day